In this video I'm going to cover 9 of my free Notion templates which you can download through the links in the description. Here's the timestamp so you can skip to any part of the video if you want to get to a specific Notion template. With that out of the way, let's start with the first Notion template which is a minimalist habit tracker. This habit tracker consists of two databases, one for your routine and one for your habits. Inside your routines database you can add different times throughout the day such as morning, afternoon and evening. You can add a time duration for each of them and you can also structure your routine with a simple table at the bottom. You'll notice in your habits database your habits are grouped according to the routine and you have 7 checkboxes, one for each day. Throughout your week as you complete your habits and if you've maintained the habit for majority of the week, you can update the completed weeks and keep track of the progress for each habit. If you want to uncheck all the checkboxes all at once, you'll have to go into the table view, uncheck the first checkbox, click copy and then while holding in shift, highlight all of the other checkboxes and then click paste. Another thing to note is that if you have the same habit for two routines, you'll need to create a duplicate of the habit instead of grouping the same habit to both routines. Otherwise, if you check off the habit in the morning, then it will also do the same for the one in the evening. Moving on to our next template, we have a bullet journal. Every morning you can add a new calendar entry and click on the template button which will generate a new bullet journal entry. Firstly, you want to give your journal entry a name or add the date as the page name at the top. For the morning section, you can set your intention for today, write down three morning affirmations, three things you're grateful for, and three things that would make the day great. Then in the evening, you can write down the highlight of the day, three evening affirmations, three things you're grateful for, and three things that made the day great. This is a really simple bullet journal, but it's highly effective if you're somebody that wants to rewire yourself and live a life by design, not by default. Next up, we have an objective and key results goal tracker. At the top, we have our four pillars of goal setting, which are health, wealth, relationships, and spirituality, where you can add a yearly goal for each of them. Then on the right, you have a vision board where you can add images of your desired reality in order to reaffirm why the goals you're setting for yourself is important. Then we have our objectives grouped according to the yearly quarter, and then our key results grouped according to their objective. Each quarter can have multiple objectives, and each objective can have multiple key results. Inside the key results, you can add a target for your goal, which will update the progress bar automatically in relation to the current property. Each objective will also display the average percentage of all the key results, and once you've completed the key result or objective, it will disappear. Our next template is a fitness planner. This fitness planner consists of a workout planner as well as a meal planner. For the workout planner, you have all your different workouts grouped according to the workout routine and inside each workout you can add the amount of sets, reps, weights and also the relevant muscle groups. Underneath the workouts database, you'll find the different muscle groups as well as the workout routines. As for the meal planner on the right, you have all your different recipes grouped according to their meal type with each recipe relating to the ingredients required. And then inside the ingredients database at the bottom, you can change the status of the ingredients to either in stock, out of stock, or add it to your shopping list. Next up, we have a finance tracker. This template helps you track your income, expenses, and subscriptions. For the income section, when you add a new income, you can connect it to an income source, connect it to a bank account, and give it a date so it's grouped according to the month inside the monthly view. On the right, you'll find your different income sources where you can add a monthly income goal, which will then update in a progress bar. The expense tracker works exactly the same way, except you don't have a monthly income goal, but rather a monthly expense limit. Then at the bottom, you have your different bank accounts where you can add your start amount so that the bank balance will update automatically as you add your income and expenses. Then you have your subscription tracker where you can add the cost of your subscription and select the billing type, which will then update the monthly and yearly costs. And then you can also add a renewal date to your subscription, which will then show up in the calendar on the right. Every time your monthly subscription is due, just extend the renewal date ahead one month. Next on the list is a client relationship management system. This CRM consists of a pipeline where you can add new clients and assign them to a specific status. You can add their email, add a communication type, the service you're providing and also the value of your service. When you've onboarded a new client, you can add new projects in the project database and connect it to a client. Each client can have multiple projects and each project can have multiple tasks. The projects have a progress bar that updates relative to the amount of tasks completed and can also be given a due date which will then show up on the project calendar. 
Our next template is a simple progress tracker. This progress tracker has a database containing all your projects where you can assign a due date so it shows up in the calendar view and each project can contain multiple tasks. In the task database you have a view showing all the tasks without a due date grouped according to the project, a view showing all the tasks due today and a view showing all the tasks due after today. And then lastly you have your main calendar which you can use to plan and schedule your tasks throughout the day, week and month. The next template is a second brain dashboard. The second brain template uses the para method as its organizational structure which consists of projects, areas, resources and archive. Projects being the most active and archive being the most inactive. In the project section you have your project and task management system where each project can contain multiple tasks with the progress bar updating automatically. In the area section you have your different life areas grouped according to business, personal and library. Then in the resources section is where you add all your other databases. So this is where you have your note management system and also your bookmarks database for when you save websites and links to Notion with the help of the Save to Notion Chrome extension. And then lastly you have archives which is where all your inactive pages will go. Back on the home page you'll notice you have all of these databases including a calendar view of your tasks in a layout that makes it easy to use. The last template on this list is inspired by Visualize Value. If you're unfamiliar with Jack Butcher and his Visualize Value project, it's a distillation of ideas from great minds visualized in black and white. Jack has a digital product called the Daily Manifest, which I recreated in Notion and added it as a template button to a calendar, making it a lot easier to use compared to the standard PDF form. Simply add a new entry to your calendar, click on the template button and it will load a new Daily Manifest. In the Daily Manifest, you can fill out the date, your daily schedule, what book you're reading, your 90 day goals, how you'll measure them in 30 days and what you will be doing today in order to make progress towards them. Then at the end of the day you can write down 3 good habits you're maintaining, 3 bad habits you've resisted and reflect on both as it's an important part of the process. Making progress with our habits is as much about reducing harmful behavior as it is increasing beneficial behavior. The daily manifest will help you make conscious adjustment in your daily life through reinforcing goals for your time, happiness and finances. The link to this template along with all the other templates can be found in the description below. Before you download any of these templates, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoy these templates, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.